Okay, okay, all right. Uh, oh, wow. I am... <laughs> all right, fine, say something already. Okay, guys, you know, I'm a huge Linkin Park fan. Um, I've been listening to them all the way from Hybrid Theory. Of course, last year I did a discography review. Um, I am I am just simply blown out of my mind, blown away. Like okay, whatever. Case in point. Case in point. Case in point. Let me show you guys. Uh, if I can hold this straightly. This is my iPod. And right above it, you'll see The Hunting Party. Linkin Park's sixth studio album was released today. Today. And what, what can I say? It is the best album that they have released thus far. I am simply, just simply at an utter, complete loss for words. Like it's, it's, it's almost like two minutes into the video and I'm already just spazzing out. It is, oh my good, it, it is, of course, you guys listen to the album yourselves. Um, Buy it, buy it to record record store, download it, whichever whichever way you 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 can. But like, in all honesty, I have not been this excited, this exhilarated, this energized by a Lincoln Park record since a thousand suns. Like, I haven't been this enthusiastic in, since since that album since. A thousand suns, and it's and, and, and that same some, something, especially when you consider a thousand suns my favorite Lincoln Park album of theirs. And this album, it rocks. This album is just freaking phenomenal. It is a return to, well, at least what a lot of Lincoln Park purists will say, the old Lincoln Park style, except this sounds nothing like the old Lincoln Park style. Or rather, in interviews that Mike Shinoda and the band have been making lately, this is more this sounds more like the band are reaching back to pre hyper theory era and grabbing things from their teenage years, from hardcore, punk rock, thrash metal, everything from Gorilla Biscuits, At the Drive In, Quicksand, um I'm speechless, guys. I'm I really, really am speechless. I mean, this is a pretty crappy review, anyways. But still, I'm I'm so speechless. And this is a phenomenal album. I, of course, you don't. You can disagree with me. You can still say Hyper Theory is way better. And but this album. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dare I say it? Do I even do I even attempt? Do I even utter from my very mouth the words that I am about to say right now? Do I even dare to utter what I'm about to utter right now? Look, guys, Hybrid Theory is a great album. So is Meteora. Personally, they're one of my favorite Lincoln Park records. Without the, those first two albums, Lincoln Park would not have been the band that they are now. Truth, plain and simple, without those two albums, we would not know Lincoln Park. And that's the gut honest truth. But, and I say a gigantic but, this album, The Hunting Party, is by far, in my opinion, you don't have to agree with me on this, but in my opinion, and I can already see the comments explode down below, is way heavier, 
punkier, thrashier, and way more visceral than those two albums put together. Again, both albums are phenomenal. They're fantastic. I love both those albums. But this album, The Hunting Party, has just really, really just... Hybrid Theory and Meteor will always remain a special place in my collection, but this album has taken such a huge left turn feel that I'm, I'm really doing a really bad job at this, am I? I'm really not making a proper review, and we're already, what, 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 like six minutes in, and all I'm doing is just spazzing around. Okay, I mean, technically, this album was conceived by Mike Shinoda after he made some demos for the other supposedly follow-up to, to Living Things, the last studio album, which essentially was a continuation of A Thousand Sons, which was a more electronic venture. It was, it was a more electronic album. Uh, Living Things tried to combine all, this, all the sounds previously from previous studio albums to kind of roll them into one, while still holding on to the, the sweeping electronics that we saw with A Thousand Sons. So essentially, Living Things was A Thousand Sons, except heavier, a little bit. And Mike Shinoda then apparently found out that, you know, after seeing um, an article in, in Japan about herbivores and people not going out to get a job or getting a girlfriend or re remaining very complacent, that related to his feeling of what rock and roll feels like right now, what rock music feels like right now. What rock music feels like right now is a sense of complacency in the sense that you know it's not being as visceral or, or as ambitious enough and he truly felt that he truly felt that rock music was not in a, a very um, conquering sphere or a conquering place in music so he challenged all the band members to create a visceral record a very visceral record because the, the, the other supposed demos that he made for the supposed follow-up to, to Living Things didn't match up to what he was feeling. So, so now you have Brad Delson and, and Rob Borden, especially Brad Delson, who up until this point was just very avarice of doing any guitar solos or anything guitarish y But Brad Delson, he makes a huge, gigantic, ginormous contribution to this album. He just lets loose his guitar playing and is just shredding all over the place. And then, mind you, not like Kirk Hammond of Metallica or um, um, what's the other guitarist name? You know, not Kirk, ha Kirk Hammond of Metallica or even um, Dimebag Daryl, the late Dimebag Daryl from Pantera, who was a was a phenomenal guitarist as well but in his own particular way his own particular style Brad Delson truly shines on this album he truly shines on this record so is Rob Borden I mentioned in my last li uh, review for Living Things that Victimize a track off that album was my favorite because it contained a lot of Rob's heavy punk rockish drumming yeah I was wrong this whole entire album is Rob Borden drumming victimized like style. All over this album, his his drumming has just become so phenomenal, so amazing, so powerful. And you know, the lyric writing too, especially in this album, especially when you consider the last few albums, which shied away from anything with grit it shied the, the last three albums shied away from anything that was too visceral or too aggressive and this album really like the music harks back to that lyrical aesthetic it really this album really goes back to really visceral themes visceral songwriting on this album and, and this this album both musically and lyrically is just phenomenal you have also for the first time on the Lincoln Park album, and I'm reaching 10 minutes and 18 seconds, 
you have guest spots. You have guests starring in, in the. Yeah, my words. You have guests on an album like All for Nothing featuring Paige Hamilton from Hel Helmet, Guilty All the Same featuring a killer, killer verse from Rakim, one of the greatest rappers, MCs to ever have touched a mic. Um, Rebellion featuring Darren of System of a Down. Uh, that song especially is a very system of a down toxicity era type of song and draw bar featuring Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine um, possibly I don't want to say my biggest disappointment of this record but it's a little bit of a letdown but not too much so there there are songs on here which is just really harkens back to that 1990s aesthetic of like hardcore metal, punk, uh, punk rock, thrash metal, like a lot of these different, it's reaching back to a much more visceral, aggressive, and just like throw on the neck sound. And there's like the beginning to the song, Keys to, Keys to the Kingdom. Their most aggressive, visceral beginning to any Linkin Park album since Paper Cut, in my opinion. Um, I have to talk about the, the track War of this album first time I heard this song my mouth was wide open and I just could not believe the sheer aggression the sheer visceralness of this song it's, 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 it's such a fun song to listen to I first heard this the first time and then I just had to repeat again and repeat again and repeat again of course, I'm going to, well, explain that a little bit later, but you know, I'll probably explain more in depth on a track-by-track -track review, but this album, guys, it's just phenomenal. It's amazing. I know I'm going in 12 minutes already. So, yeah. I'm not sure this review really does this album proper justice, but I, I am just so speechless. But it's 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 a fantastic speechless. I am left speechless in the sense of Linkin Park has created an album that harkens back to rock, and it's a big statement from from them. Even though not really much of a deliberate one, but it's a really huge, gigantic statement, and you know. I would give this album a rating between a 1 and a 5. I would probably give this a 4.5 out of 5. Very, very close. Very close to a Thousand Suns mark. Super close, I might add you. Heck, if I had my way, I'd probably give this a 4.9 out of 5. But this is by far, in my opinion at least, Linkin Park's best work to date. The songs flow together perfectly this almost has somewhat of a of, of an a thousand suns type of aesthetic to it as far as the sequencing the flow of each every song of the album and it's not a hundred percent perfect mind you this is not a perfect album neither a thousand suns for that matter but this album truly for me in my opinion and i'm reaching 14 minutes is their best album to date to date and 4.5 out of 5 for this album I really can't say anymore um, yeah this review is kind of a little bit shaky I'm sorry about that but I just could not help but I, I can't I couldn't help retaining my enthusiasm for this album by this point I think this whole division between who's better old or new Lincoln Park I think I mean, there's always, the, the division is always going to exist, as far as I can tell, but if there's any way that this kind of division will most certainly disappear, it is with this album, The Hunting Party. They've really returned to their roots, except it's not really the hybrid theory roots, nor the new metal roots. It is their own roots, musical roots, as bands and music that have inspired them to create music in the first place. 
and again as I was stressed again since we're reaching 15 minutes hybrid theory and Meteora again will always remain a special place in my music collection in my musical memory but and again I say but the hunting party has overtaken both those albums as being the most heaviest visceral most aggressive in your face guttural straight to the throat album this band has created thus far and I know I'm gonna get tons of dislikes I know there's gonna be people saying like I freaking hate you music fan in the comments below that's okay it's likely that if the post below is not of any constructive criticism or polite disagreement then it's most likely the chance I'm not going to answer or even respond but this has been a review it was originally going to be a first impressions video but I decided this album was just way too good way too good for a first impressions video so I decided to go on like a nearly six nearly 17 minute um, rant slash fangasm rant about this album anyway what are your thoughts what are your thoughts about the hunting party Lincoln Park 6 studio album released today leave your comments in the comment section below tell me what you think of this album I really have to know oh and speaking of which there's this particular YouTube user uh, what's her name uh, Deanna Jocka, I, I believe that's your name. I, I can't pronounce your name. Uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. I would really love to hear your thoughts. Uh, if not on video, then certainly on the comment section below. Uh, considering that we're both huge Lincoln Park fans, um, I'm especially curious to know what you think about this new album. Uh, you can comment in the comment section below if, you, if, if it's to your liking, um, whichever way you prefer. And seriously guys tell me in the comment section below what do you think of this album do you love it do you hate it why or why not give me a response um, a proper polite and constructive response uh, even if it's constructive criticism anyway I'm ranting too much now it's like almost 18 minutes so I should zip my lip and this has been my review I'll see you next time Mr. Music Fan Lincoln Park the hunting party. Take care, guys.